I can totally see us cooking in this kitchen. I can totally see us cooking like pros with natural gas. Oh, I would love to soak in that tub. I'd love to save energy and money with a natural gas water heater. I can imagine cuddling up in here. Because natural gas heating keeps the house comfortable when we need it. We have to get this house. We have to get natural gas. We're investing in infrastructure to help bring comfort and savings to you. Visit centerpointenergy.com slash natural gas benefits. Centerpoint Energy, always there. Max, do you want to give us a few thoughts about today's win before we open it up to questions? Uh, it was a real good win. No, I feel like everybody, everybody on the team stepped up. We had at least five guys in double digits. Coach Stack had a uh, great game plan. We followed the game plan. We came out with the win. Robbie, go ahead. Sure. Uh, you know, uh, tough four years for you in terms of the win-loss results. So what does it mean to you to be able to, you know, play probably your last game here and, and get the win uh, in a big situation where Ole Miss had a lot to play for today? Uh, it means a lot. You know, Ole Miss is a great team. It just, it just like, tells everyone, just keep working every day and keep getting better, and the results will show. How have you guys been able to keep playing good offense without Scotty and Dylan? Uh, we just try to get the ball moving. Everybody, everybody can shoot the ball, so dry kick, swinging it, shooting it when you open, just confidence, having confidence to knock down a shot. Do I have any questions for Max? Anybody else? Yeah, I'll do another one. Uh, Max, Stack has said before that he thinks it's – um, like when you guys have had success in the SEC, it comes later in the season when uh, you guys have lost a lot of games and maybe teams are overlooking you and he thinks it's tougher to do it when there's pressure on. There was like Ole Miss clearly was not overlooking you guys today due to the NCAA tournament. So what does that mean for the program going forward to be able to win a game like this and play well uh, where Ole Miss was given everything they had? Uh, it means a lot. It just, you know, it just shows us the work we put in. It shows us that we have a bright future and we just keep working and the future's uh, looking bright for us. Max, I'll ask you one. I saw you pregame. Looked like you you were a little bit emotional watching that that pregame message, man. What what did what did that mean to you to see that on the video board? Uh, it's just my dad and my family. You know, my dad been through a lot, so just seeing him giving me an inspirational message means a lot to me because that's a big part of my life, my family. So it just means a lot with me that they would they was with this journey with me. So I just love my family. Just seeing them on screen just kind of brought me emotional a little bit. All right, man. Go enjoy your the rest of your day. We appreciate you. Thank you. All right, Coach, you got me? Yeah, I got you. All righty. You want to go ahead and uh, give us some thoughts about today's win before we open it up? Yeah, I mean, really happy for our seniors, man. I thought our guys uh, really stepped up. I thought Isaiah Price came in and got us off to a nice start. You know, I had an assist there, um, educate, uh, you know, Max, all those guys played well. And then it was fitting at the end of the game to have Cleavon at the line, you know, making some key free throws to, to, to seal the win, man. I just thought it was a – Great team effort from from everyone. We had you know five guys in double figures. You know being down, uh, Scotty and, and Dylan, a large, a huge part of who we are. Thought our guys really stepped up, played together. You know on both ends of the uh, on the court, you know, offensively and defense, and gave ourselves a good, great chance to win this game, and we did. Robbie, go ahead. Hey, Stack, I think you've mentioned once or twice this season that it's kind of different winning games where maybe you're out of it at the end of the season versus where the other team, you know, maybe isn't overlooking you. Clearly, like, Ole Miss needed this game. So how significant is it to, you know, beat a team that you know was, was playing desperate basketball and is a pretty good team? Well, yeah, I mean, I think uh, I talked about it on the post game. Uh, I think it was, you know, confidence comes from from your work, you know, the, the work that you do to try to, for your skill set, confidence comes from, you know, just being prepared, understanding what they're going to do, and then confidence come from actually getting some wins. And I think that we lacked, you know, a little bit of confidence that's there when we, you know, got into end the games. Even though we might have gotten shots that we wanted, we executed pretty good. Other teams stepped up and made made plays. Today we stepped up and made plays. So I think this is a huge confidence builder for us to, you know, to finish up strong and and really carry some momentum into the SEC tournament. Like we we know we can beat any of these teams. I mean, it's not. Not a far cry. Anybody that we play, we step up, we can beat no matter who we got because I think we, we play a style that where we, we try to defend first and then we want to share the basketball. It doesn't always work out, you know, perfectly, no, but I, I think our guys are trying to, to learn how to play the right way, and today we did a really good job of it. Coach, you guys had 16 assists today. Uh, what did you see offensively that really catalyzed those assists and really got you guys uh, in a rhythm, especially from beyond the three-point line? 
Well, I think we, you know, we moved the ball. We got into the paint a little bit. There's pick and rolls. You know, guys didn't try to beat the pick and roll and try to do it themselves. Once we, we like to call call it pulling triggers, um, cause a reaction where somebody has to help on the roller, and and then we we sprayed the ball and, and stepped up and knocked down shots. Got him, you know, some extra passes there as well. Um, but you know, it's, it's it's a game. The game of basketball is about making shots and stepping up and making shots. And I thought our guys stepped up with confidence and did so today. I mean, Isaac had a uh, had a nice game for us in the second half. Um, DJ, you know, had 10 points for us in the first half. You know, he's been struggling for us, you know, of late. But, but for him to see the ball go through, that was a good sign for us. Um, you know, just just thought. I mean, Trey and those guys did did a really good job of, of stepping up and and making big shots when we needed them. And then, you know, no bigger shots than the free throws that were made down down, down the stretch from, from Cleveland. And then our defense, I thought we, this is a team that are, I mean, they nationally, they're, they're one of the best offensive rebounding teams, best rebounding teams, period. And for us to be right there with them, you know, yeah, they, yeah, they had a few more than we would like for them to have 13 offensive rebounds. But um, I thought the total rebounds being, you know, right there, 30, 33 is, is a pretty good number for us, for us to battle in and, and, and do a good job on the boards. Go ahead, Robbie. Yeah, Stack, you mentioned Isaac. I think he had 13 points in the second half. Uh, what's he shown you lately in terms of not only how much he has improved this season, but what he can be for you guys like long term? Yeah, I mean, I think that's it. I and mean, we just, you know, we, we see a, a bright future. I mean, he wants to get better. He wants to learn. Um, you know, it's, it's with young guys like him and point guards who I'm asking a, a, a lot of, who, who I'm expecting a lot of, expecting for him to understand how to run the team and um, you know, we work on things in, in practice and, and he doesn't really have the carry over, but man, he, he wants to get it. He wants to, he wants to be good. He wants to help the team and he has just such a great attitude. So I, I think um, Isaac is going to be really good in the Commodore uniform going forward. I mean, I, I really like the fact that out these young guys, these freshmen who, are, who essentially get this year back as well, you know, you know, him and Trayvon, those guys that can shoot the three and, and be a part of how we want to play. Uh, they, they got a chance to be a, a really special group here in, in a few years. I mean, this group gets to, get to stick together. I mean, we're uh, hopefully we're one of the, those teams that are going to be able to get get old to grow old together. And um, you know, and hopefully I'm able to grow old with with, with those two, um, Scotty and Dylan as well. You know, <laughs> you know, what I'm saying they all those guys are great, but but think about them into the mix, watching these guys just kind of. You know, continue to build that chemistry. Can, can continue to build that 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 rapport of pulling and and pulling for each other. And and I'm starting to see that. Starting to see some, you know, the, the fruits of our labor starting to starting to pay off a little bit. And and I'm happy for those guys because they they work. They continue continue to do what we ask them to do. Our coach staff come come to work to uh, try to prepare those guys every day. To, you know, where with our game plans and what we're trying to do. And when you don't have success, you know, it could be easy to be like, man, it's just not working. But our guys don't have that attitude. They, they look me in the eye and they, and they believe me and they trust that if they keep doing what they're going to do, that we're going to have some, some success. And, and I think today was uh, a good sign of that. Uh, Thursday is an open date right now. Is there a possibility of adding uh, another game for Thursday? I mean, we would love to. You know, I hadn't heard anything about it right now. I just think Saturday is a game that was added to Ole Miss. Uh, that we're going to go there again um, to, to play them. Um, but, you know, I, I, don't, I don't really understand how all of the, uh, you know, those, those makeup games kind of work. I know we didn't play Texas A&M. We didn't play Missouri. Um, so it could, could maybe an opportunity to squeeze in the game. But either way, we, we, we'll listen to what the league says and, and try to prepare for, for whoever they, they put in front of us. Hopefully Scotty's back. You know, I think that would that would be huge for us. I mean, he he's feeling better. Um, you know, hopefully he's back by the LSU game. But if not, then I definitely think he'll be back by Saturday. I mean, he said he said he's feeling better. The, the MRI didn't show any um, you know any structural damage or anything. Just kind of like a like a bruise that just just needs to heal and 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 where he's feel comfortable to go out there and be himself. All right, Coach, have an extra glass of wine for me tonight. We appreciate it. Oh, man, it. you already know it. I got, oh, got yeah. that red going. I hear Even, you. And Drake decided to show his face today, man. I appreciate you guys to show your face. All right, we're going to get the rest of y'all a little bit. All right, guys. Enjoy. All right.